Well, entertain this. Britney Spears inspired the hired help who used to clean the pool at her Malibu, California mansion because she became too friendly with her husband and was teaching K-Fed how to read. Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie are set to publicly end their two-year-old feud as guests of David Letterman. Letterman has offered to play Peacekeeper after inviting the Simple Life stars to appear together on his The Late Show. Letterman sweetened the deal by offering a celebratory dinner of a pile of cocaine and nothing else. Oh, man. Man, those girls love their cocaine. Well, anyway, actor David Hasselhoff is whining like a baby at press reports that he was turned away from a British Airways flight because he was drunk. Well, the Hoff insisted that he was ill from all of the liquor that he had been drinking and the pain of being an entertainment industry laughingstock. Carmen Electra has slammed media reports she is dating Oscar winner Jamie Foxx, insisting and I quote, there's not an ounce of truth to that, to any of the rumors, added Electra. And I quote, we're just boning. Lindsay Lohan was taken to a Los Angeles area hospital by private car recently from the set of her upcoming movie, Georgia Rule, after she became, quote, overheated and dehydrated, unquote, which is Hollywood slang for bats bit crazy. Bats bit is pretty crazy, Rob. That's bit. <laughs> it sure is, Cassidy. CBS asked an appeals court on Friday to overturn an FCC fine for the network's broadcast of Janet Jackson's Breast Flash during the 2004 Super Bowl broadcast. The FCC ruled that the incident was legally indecent and fined 20 stations owned by CBS $555,000. CBS countered with, how much for just the nipple? Ha <laughs> ha! In New York, Boy George will have to perform his court-ordered community service by picking up trash on city streets in the heat of August. Now, it will be the first time Boy George has been able to pick up anything in the last 20 years without using roofies or cocaine. Ew. <laughs> George. Hollywood is discussing the future of one of its biggest stars Sunday when Mel Gibson unleashed a tirade of anti-Semitic remarks during a drunken driving arrest. A Gibson spokesperson was quoted as saying, that's just Mel being Mel. When Mel drinks too much, he hates Jewish people. When he's sober, he hates Jewish and African American people. And when he's sleepy, he hates Jewish people and the Irish. People Magazine is rushing out an issue featuring Mel as the sexiest racist alive. Two of America's top authors, John Irving and Stephen King, made a plea to J.K. Rowling on Tuesday not to kill the fictional boy wizard Harry Potter in the final book of the series. Said King, let's all kill Clifford the Big Red Dog instead. Added Irving, yeah, we really hate him. Big red dog ever, ever. Take that, Clifford. Who comes up with this? <laughs> <laughs> 2006. About. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, kids. About 200 KISS fans <laughs> protested in front of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Museum to demand that the band be inducted into the hall until their moms came to pick them up and take them back to their garage apartments.